Rough grouse hunting. Man, it's hard to beat, isn't it? Now last year, and actually the last few years, we've been blessed with a lot of good numbers. Dead bird. Nice. Now this year, oh. well, things are a little bit different. I'm sure job, saved on ammunition, right? but I gotta say, we gotta put some time in and cover a lot of ground to find the birds. But we still got into them. We had some good times, good dog work, lots of camaraderie. Next week, we're having our grouse camp. It's the second annual one. The boys are coming. We have six of us. It's gonna be Bryce and Dusty, Mark, Wes, Andrew, myself. We're gonna be running seven dogs. A lot of young dogs. I was lucky enough to see Ruth get her, well, not maybe not her first bird contact, I guess, but one of her first bird contacts. She's only five months old. Man, a bundle of cuteness, I'll tell you that. We've been covering a lot of new areas here this year, trying to find some new areas, new places to hunt with the dogs, where there's less birds. You know, we don't want to hunt the same places over and over and disseminate the population. So, you guys have met most of the boys here through our other videos. Great bunch of guys. A lot of fun to be around. We don't always get the birds, but we sure have a good time anyway. And that's really what this is all about. You know, that's the thing about bird hunting. It's not just about the birds and about the dog work, although that's a huge part of it. It really is a good time with the other boys, and it's about camaraderie. Getting out there, getting to know each other, making friends, doing something that we love. Hunting the rough grouse, the king of upland birds. Today I have Jesse on the ground, and as you know, the rough grouse being a bird of edges, we're walking this road here, and I'm sending her in and out on each side, just hoping that she'll flush one up across the road or give me a shot opportunity anyway. Well, although it was a good spot and definitely could have been productive, we didn't see anything along the road. Jesse. But not long after we get into the woods, good girl. Jesse starts getting birdie. Looking birdie right there. Could be a rabbit too. Find him. What is it? Find it. Gotta let her work it out here. Bird. Good girl. Man, love that. Good girl. Come on, Jess. Come. That's my girl. Hey, that's my girl. Good girl. Come. Bring him to dad. Here. Give, <laughs> good girl, Jesse. Give, good girl, good girl. There you go. You did a good job. What do you think of that? I don't eat them. Hey, hey, hey. That's okay. Leave it. What do you think of that? Hey, nice bird. Beautiful bird. Nice how they got that little hood there. I think we got a. I think it's a female. I guess. Man, fantastic. Isn't that great, Jess? Good job. That bird was holding tight. Man, so we must have, she was up there. That's where she started getting birdie. And we kind of walked down over here. And she must have just saw us and kind of ran down in here and she was hiding in those bushes right there. So, I mean, she held pretty tight. We were standing there for five minutes looking for it. I wasn't sure she was on a rabbit or, you know, it's hard to tell eh, sometimes, but she did definitely was on something. That's great. Fantastic. You ready to roll? Let's go find another one. Here, Jess. Come. Go on up here. Oh, 
Whoa! Shoot. <laughs> Blew the wrong direction. That's all right. Stay. I got her to sit there. I'm just checking in case there's another. The battery just died here, so I just changed it, but she was looking real birdie down in there. That's why I whistled her to a stop. And then I, I started coming and I said, okay, let's go. And then I, I asked her to come up here and just check these fir trees and there was a bird in it. But of course, when it flew out this way, see there was a bunch of firs. I saw it just a glimpse there, but the dog was too close to shoot. But anyway, so long story short, it flew that way somewhere. I'm just gonna look at my Google Maps here and just kind of see what the, what's over there. This is a new, new area to me, I've never been in here, but now that's two birds that we flush. One I shot down there and right here, that's probably only 100 yards apart from the two birds, so, so that's good. Rabbit going. <laughs> I would have shot if she was too close to it. Oh, oh there's a bird. I'm guessing that's one that we just flossed. It was in a tree just above her. What, what luck that is, eh? Rabbit brought right to it. Out of range for me. Oh, that's okay. We'll keep heading that direction, I guess. She didn't go very far. Maybe, well, probably is about 70 yards and she landed. Got the feathers on the ground here. Yeah, rough gross. Something got it not too long ago. Just a head left. Probably a bird of prey or something. Oh, that's where we started. Whoa. Ah, it's right there. Dead bird. Good girl, Jesse. That's my girl. Good girl. Come. Yep. Good. Good girl. Beautiful bird. Hen, nice hen, good tail on her. <laughs>